Let me do a recap on why online reorganization is super, super cool in 12.2, just to sort of hopefully whet your appetite in terms of encouraging your managers and that to get on the upgrade bandwagon. So in 12.2 and above, you can pretty much do online everything. Now, every time a new release of the database comes up, there's normally some Oracle bozo gets up in front of a stage or on a webinar like myself and says, you know, everything can be done online, every single thing. And we generally then would go ahead and list all these caveats, you know, oh, except when you've got this, except if you've got that, whatever. 12.2 is one, the, probably the first one where I am like super confident. It's amazing how much stuff you can do online. I have a lot of fun. I do my best to try break it. I, come, I try to come up with really bizarre scenarios to see if I can break the online operation. And I found some, but it's hard. It's really hard to do. Let me give you a couple of examples. The first one is the one that most DBAs have been waiting for for decade. A simple requirement, can I move a heap table online? Moving an index organized table online came along in 8.1 because effectively under the covers, it's an index. And that's when we've been able to rebuild indexes online for some length of time. But here's an example. Here's my heap table, create table TS select star from DBA objects. I've got an index on that table. Let me get some active transactions on that table. So the blue indicates here a separate session. I'm doing some active transactions and they're not, they're not even committed yet. And then I do alter table T move online in my first session. Now it will commence. It won't take any locks. It will commence and wait for those uncommitted tractions to complete. And when they do, the alter table T moves online. It completes successfully. There was no interruption to service. And notice there, if I do a select from user indexes, the index actually never became invalid as well. So we kept the index valid. We kept the table accessible to all customers during the modification and we managed to do our move. That's a really good thing in conjunction with things like attribute clustering, which also came in at 12 in terms of if you want to cluster the data. We spoke about that in a previous office hour session, so I won't go over it again tonight, but the ability to move data around to make it better for performance in terms of queries. It used to be the case that you might want to reshuffle some data to make it better for performance, but you couldn't because you either had to take an outage, but now you can do it without taking an outage. We can do composite operations in 12.2. I could take this sales table, I could move it, I could compress it at the same time, I could take maybe two of the existing indexes, they could go to brand new table spaces. Let me clarify, it won't create the table spaces as part of the operation, you need to pre-create them, but I could move the indexes from existing table spaces to another. You can see I'm moving the sales table maybe to a brand new table space as well and compressing it and it all just happens online. This is the one I really like. As databases get bigger and you know, who's got a database that gets smaller nowadays? Like nobody. All databases just get bigger and bigger and bigger. I might need to migrate a non-partition table to a partition table. And I've been giving this example for a long, long time as a, as a proof of just how much you can do online. So here's a table called T, it's 20 copies of DBA objects. It's got a couple of indexes on it, um, on object ID and created object name. But I could do all this in one command. I'm gonna modify the table. I'm gonna partition it by range and I'm gonna use interval partitioning as well. And I might compress that oldest partition as well. So I'm trying to dial up the amount of complexity here to see if I can break the online operation. Then I'm gonna update the indexes. One of the indexes that was there will now become a local index. So it goes from implicitly global because obviously a non-partition table only has global indexes. It's gonna become a local index. The other index will become partitioned, but not on the partitioning system of the table. It'll actually be globally partitioned on a totally different scheme on created. And also at the same time, I'll actually delete off some of the older rows because I don't want to keep them. They've say been archived off into an archive table. So I'll delete them off as well. And I can do that whole thing online and it just works. Mm -hmm.